What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. I wanted to run something by you, show you guys something I'm trying out. Uh, I was really wanting to do <clears throat> uh, move my Rotunda T-Rex and put Blade here for many, many reasons. This entire wall, everything is pretty much like seamless in the fact that these two top shelves are the same theme. Everything down low was cubed up in themes. You know, and these two are both Game of Thrones, and then Alita, Mummy, Clash of the Titans. And then this was Blade and Rotunda. And granted, Blade, the, I had the, I moved this over about three inches. It was much closer here. And I was able to move this directly in front of that and fit Blade. We threw his prop right there because you can't wall mount it. You know, that has a display stand like that. And then the movie right there. But by doing this, it makes the total TV view much better, in my opinion. Like, way better. You know, I didn't have good angles of rotunda for my chair, where here I can see Blade perfectly when I'm sitting down. So, you know, I, I feel like it just makes the TV area much better. So, if we do this, which I'm really leaning towards just keeping it like this, it frees up a spot here. I could do whatever I want there. It could be, you know, another horror-themed statue, you know... There's, I mean, obviously I could throw just Red Sonya there. Red Sonya and Vampirella won't fit. Uh, they need a 48-inch wide shelf. That's a 36 with a Chucky. So realistically, I could fit one 22-inch wide statue. Height doesn't matter. Of course, it needs to be creature-themed horror. You know, technically I could do Terminator, but I prefer not to. Uh, you know, I prefer... Like, whore and one-third skill. Or busts, most likely one-third. You know, technically, for example, I could also do, like, Blue Box's uh, lipstick demon bust. Like, that would work, for example. You know, something like that. Or, you get the drift. But anyways, we could, you know, keep Blade where Blade's in the Blade section and open this up for a whore statue. And then, of course, like I said, we had to move Rotunda. So if I want to keep Rotunda in my Jurassic setup, it has to more or less replace the Iron Studios one. You know, and we stick with just one T-Rex, my favorite one, the Rotunda T-Rex. So by moving Rotunda, we can spread this one out more so it's more in the middle of the shelf. And I just threw the one-tenth there. This is just here temporarily. I was thinking of wall mounting this. You know, I got two things here. And I was going to wall mount it right there. Boom. You know, so I moved this shelf forward four inches. Because, as you know, Rotunda has a ridiculously big 27-inch base. And so it's hanging off four inches in the back, four inches in the front. Now, there's still plenty of walkways. You know, like... You know, I'm not going to, like, bump into this. It's it's not a worrisome of that. It does slightly affect the viewing angle of him when I'm very up close. You know, of course, I back up a little bit. I can see it fine. You know, and if I want get, to get real good angles, I get down low. I did put some black fabric on the bottom back there. You know, because I don't like seeing the carpet back there. You know, and then we put the two uh, one-tenths raptors there. And then I still have my other, let's see, where's the other one? I don't even remember. My other one-tenth raptor. I moved it. Oh, it's right there, that one. I was thinking of potentially just uh, giving that away for free to whoever would buy my Iron Studios one. I also took off this so I could try it without the raptor on him. Just because I don't think it truly needs it. I like the raptor on the base. You know, the only problem is I really don't like this. Like, that is so ugly. The way Prime 1 did that, it's honestly horrible. They should have made that much more seamless where there's no seam line. But, you know, having the Raptor here, you know, I feel like it just flows a little bit better. This T-Rex is bigger and better paint up than the Iron Studios. And it's facing forward where everything else is always facing left or right. This one's more facing forward. So I feel like it works good. Also has a very similar paint app to the, you know, bust above. So I feel like it just works better. Of course, it being a centerpiece, a circular base, bigger, 
it works as a fantastic centerpiece to this, this collection. So, you know, the Iron Studios might have flowed a tiny bit better, as well as, you know, I was able to put the one tenths on each side, and I didn't have to have it sticking off the shelf. But, like I said, I'm trying to cut down on, you know, having lines protrude into other lines. There's a few areas in my collection where it does it. Jurassic was a big one. You know, and I think this can work. Like I said, I'd wall mount that right there. You know, the Welcome to Jurassic Park. So, uh, I, you know, ideally it looks best just directly in front of this. Of course, this is hanging in air. So that won't work. I don't want it right here. I don't want it with any other statue. I want it with this guy. It just has to go right there. Which, as you see, there's plenty of space. I just have to, you know, do two nails, really. And that will wall mount that. So, so yeah, this is kind of the basic idea, is to consolidate Jurassic into one setup. Just have this, you know, I can walk by here plenty. I, of course, uh, Rotunda also has better lighting as here, because the light's up here, you know, which works great. Blade, this is a tiny bit of walking hazard. I mean, if I walk into the shelf, really, or if my shoulder was to go over the shelf... You know, there's still plenty of walk space, and it's not really, you know, like a huge concern. Rotunda had the tail that I always had to watch out for. That's the only thing I'd say is you just got to be a tiny bit careful, not walk into the shelf, and you'd be fine. You know, but Blade looks good here. You know, you can see all the vampires, and having it back here, you can also see vampires when you're walking around. So you can get like a 360 degree angle, which is really cool. So I like that. <sighs> Styrofoam still on this thing. So I, I like this idea. I think it works. Of course, that means selling Iron Studios T-Rex. Technically for a second time. Uh, so if anyone wants Iron Studios T-Rex, uh, please reach out to me. Uh, you know, we're basically going to do 2500 ship. That's what I sold my last one for. But this time, I will throw in a free $250 Iron Studios Raptor. You know, it's the uh, same scale, fits great next to it. You know, I would do those ones instead, but the boxes for those are literally behind this white shelf. Not going to do it. So, yeah. But yeah, buy my Iron Studios T-Rex, get a free Raptor. Uh, that thing's sold out, and it's like 250 or 270 bucks. So 2500 for the pair, which is called that. So contact me. I got the boxes upstairs ready to ship it. Uh, as far as, you know, the overall condition, there's one tiny little break on the inside of the car, you know, when I first got it. It's very tiny. It's on the under part. You can't ever see it unless you're installing it. Other than that, there's no issues with this. Uh... You know, light up works and everything. Uh, so, yeah, contact me if anyone's interested because I know some people don't like the fact it hangs off the shelf and I had to bring the shelf forward, this and that. But ultimately, the blade setup looks so much better. It opens up a horse spot. We can downsize T-Rex to just these two, which is really all I need. Plus, I feel like this works great as a centerpiece. You know, all these bases match except for this one. And it works out good that way, being the centerpiece, the biggest piece, my favorite Jurassic piece. So I just like it. So we're going to stick with it. It technically sticks out the exact same depth as the Raptor bus. He's also, you know, 27 inches deep, just like this guy. 27 inches deep. But, yeah. Uh, so I think it's a good plan. Uh, I like getting Blade right here. I even thought for a second I could throw if I ever wanted to buy back the Blade trinity you know bust by ecc i could throw that right here and return him next to chucky like man that'd work too that'd look really sick but i'd rather save that spot for something else you know of course we still have the underworld celine one-third statue eventually coming which you know that's definitely something that's been on my mind is celine 
You know, just because ideally she should go next to Marcus and Lycan. There's zero space up there for her. You know, I may just have to, like, throw her here behind these girls. Or even see if I could bring them forward and fit her at the back part of the shelf. Or just do a tiny little pedestal here for her. You know, but if you guys have any horror ideas right here, I mean, of course, there's the PCS pumpkin head one third, and then I'd sell the one fourth and put something else down low. That is one potential option. There's blue box red lipstick demon bust. There's candy man one third, species one third. I know they're, you know, I want it to be more of like... You know, it has to be a creature or like a classic horror, and I pretty much have it all. You know, of course, you got Pennywise over there. So, I'll have to figure it out. Anyways, folks, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.